did you miss out on the beginning of the AI boom when PLTR was just under $25? Well, you don't want to miss out on what quantum computing is about to do next. If we look at the quantum computing sector as a whole, some people may think that we're seeing a sector sell off due to the overall retracement that we have seen these last two weeks of trading. But if you ask me, ladies and gentlemen, this is nothing but a correction and nothing to panic about so here in today's video i'm going to be giving you three quantum computing stocks that you may want to buy and hold because these things has a great chance to 10x so with no further ado let's dive right in well damn i wish you started with that point because that's all you had to say, Woody. Woody, that's all he had to say. Let's start with QBTS. Now, the company is at the center of the latest federal and funding talks. Report shows the U.S. government is considering taking equity stake in the quantum computing firms to accelerate national security tech. And QBTS was directly named. QBTS is already operating real quantum systems today, and it's not simulated which puts them years ahead on certain applications like optimization and logistic which the Trump administration relies heavily on we should see a lot of revenue pour into QBTS just off of government funding alone just like what transpired in PLTR once Donald Trump took office we were all aware that we were going to see the administration focus on border control which so happens to be PLTR's expertise and bread and butter. With that being said, let me refresh your memory here real quick. $4.72 here in Palantir before this quarter is over with. With that being said, the next quarter expectations is even higher. So if we do beat those, Palantir may be a may be a triple digit stock i repeat a triple digit stock before the summer of next year ladies and gentlemen and if my calculations are correct palantir became a triple digit stock back on april 23rd just two months before the summer actually began as you all know, I have made serious claims all right, that Palantir is going to be the best stock to buy under the Trump, Trump administration um, for many reasons. And one of the main reasons is border control. As you all know, Trump doesn't take border control lightly at all. And with Palantir being on the front on the front lines of border control, especially the Mexican and American border, I do feel as though that Palantir is going to see huge, huge government contracts down the pipeline within the first six months of President Trump's term. Well, within the first 90 days of President Trump's term, Palantir received a $795 million contract modification for its Maven smart system. Also, the Department of Defense payment, Palantir was awarded $6 million in payment from the Department of Defense, contributing to a total of $501 million in award pay over the past year and additional contracts. Palantir has also secured $113 million in federal contracts since the current administration took office with a notable $90 million contract from the Department of of health and humane services so and why is this relevant to qbts qbts is currently in the same position that pltr once were right before donald trump took office with government contracts and funding on the horizon could cause some upcoming earnings beat as well as much more cash on hand which will allow the company to make strategic corporate actions such as and maybe a buyback plan with that being said even though that we're currently undergoing a sector correction i do feel as though that this is presenting the perfect buying opportunity and with qbts having a lot of upside potential i do feel as though that this thing stands a very great chance to double in price within the next two months 
with that being said next stock we're going to talk about here in today's video rgti another company tied to the same government equity stake discussion and as we speak rgti is pushing hard to scale execution retail momentum is high but so is institutional interest rgti could be one big government contract away from a major breakout so as qbts with them both being in the same discussion we may see a government contract right after one another currently right now rgti is severely oversold and currently in a great buying position with that being said I do feel as though if market conditions calls for it, RGTI may retest those $28 to $30 levels here today. With that being said, next stock we're going to talk about here in today's video, Intel. And yes, Intel belongs in the quantum conversation. They're developing a silicone-based qubits built on the same manufacturing process used for classic chips, which is drastically going to drop their operations costs. If Intel can mass produce stable qubits the same way they mass produce CPUs, they'll become the first company to scale quantum hardware at a true commercial level, which would put Intel as a favorite over nvidia with that being said i do feel as though that intel is going to actually reach and breach those 60 dollars levels here before q1 2026 is over with with that being said ladies and gentlemen these three quantum computing stocks you do not want to overlook because if you did miss the pltr boom you don't want to miss out on this with that being said, I'm going to let you guys go and make the games be with you.